Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Investor More. I'm standing outside one of my recent fix and flip purchases. Just bought this one last week. Actually got it from a first sale by owner. So I'll talk about how I bought it. And we'll walk through the house and show you the repairs we're gonna do and the numbers on this property as well. But before we get started, make sure you check out Investor More for many free articles, my weekly podcast, and I've got a list of all my flips going on. I have 19 going right now. So I bought this house for 157,000 from a for sale by owner. It was listed on Zillow for 199,000. And I saw it come up and thought that was a decent price, but not amazing. And then I noticed they lowered the price to 179 in less than two weeks, which kind of set off my radar. Like, okay, I better go check this house out. So I set up an appointment, saw the person who was living here, who's the son of the owner, and um, negotiated by text <laughs> with the owner. And we ended up on a price at 157. And um, the house needs some work, not a crazy amount, but it does need a roof. It's got like four layers of shingles on it. We'll need some exterior paint and um, we'll need some inside work as well. We'll walk through here. See, it's got hardwood floors. Has a bunch of newer windows, which is nice, but we'll have to paint everything, refinish these hardwood floors as well. And they go back into the bedrooms, which is nice. Two bedrooms up, one bath up, and it has two more bedrooms down. So it's a four bedroom, one bath. But we'll do fixtures. So all the windows were done except for that one, so we'll replace that window. Um, this closet's kind of interesting. I think they added it. It used to have that tiny closet back there, and they built this bigger closet into the bedroom so they'd have more space. But it does have the cove ceilings, which is nice. Um, little archway there. We'll also replace the doors. They're pretty beat up, pretty boring looking. Here's the bathroom, which doesn't look horrible on the surface, but that vanity's kind of beat up. We'll probably replace that. The tub is actually cracking on the bottom, so we'll have to replace the tub. Along with that, we'll replace this surround and that awesome shower head right there. So we'll redo the bath. And here's the second bedroom upstairs. And what's kind of cool, which I did not even notice when I bought this house, but it's got a little sort of stairway up to the attic in there. And it's a really tall attic. And um, I don't know, we'll see if, I don't know if you could put a real stairway in here, if it'd be plausible, but there's probably some ways to add some more space up there. Don't know if it's a job for me to do or just to advertise to some new owners. Here's the kitchen, which when I first saw the house, I convinced myself it was a lot better than it is, but seeing it now, I think it needs replaced. The counters are okay, but the cabinets are really old, um, pretty boring, pretty ugly. And then I think if we redo the kitchen, we can also add counters and cabinets on that side too to give it a lot more space. We'll walk down to the basement. So it's got two more bedrooms down here, but they're not amazing bedrooms. See, it's got a little closet there under the stairs. And it's only a half basement. Um, the other half is a crawl space. So here's your washer and dryer. furnace which is right there and then another bedroom right here so we'll paint carpet everything down here um, get the furnace all that checked out add new doors down here as well We'll have to replace the flooring here, as you can see. 
patch that plaster they have there. And then we'll show you the backyard, which has this old garage. So we'll have to do a roof on it and paint it for sure. We'll see if my little friend is still back here. There he is. <laughs> a snake that was living under it. He's probably out here trying to warm himself up. It was about 35 degrees this morning, Colorado. But this will need some work. We'll clean it out. Sweet lock they used for it. Yeah, we'll clean that out, patch it up, and just kind of not do anything too fancy with it. All right, so that's the house. I'm hoping I can get it all done for around 25,000. Like I said, I bought it for 157,000. Um, carrying costs, selling costs, all that'll probably total about 15,000, and should be worth 225, maybe a little more when we're done with it. So that's the property. Um, we'll have an after video as soon as it's all done. Hopefully that's in about a month. We'll see how many contractors open up. And uh, we'll make sure we show that when it's all ready. And uh, I'll keep working on my other flips as well. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I'll be back soon with more videos.